Thanks for joining us. I'm Calista Solon, and you're watching NLC Trans. Tonight, I'm here with my dear friends and usual co-hosts, Tara Alexander and Stacy Dozier. And <coughs> this is our first show of the season, of the, well, the first year. show of the new year. Um, mm. And uh, it's actually, the last show of the season. Well, yeah, something like that. We have a, actually we have a producers meeting coming up. Um, we are going to stay on Wednesday nights. Um, through April, if I'm not mistaken, through, yeah. March. End of March, beginning of April, yep. something like that. And, uh, and then we'll let you know. <laughs> Hopefully we'll get to stay in this time slot, but things change sometimes. So anyway, um, first show of the year, so I thought I would wear a red dress. I don't know why. Is that, is that the customary thing to wear red in the new year? I don't know. Chinese New Year. Is it? January 14th, isn't it? It sounded good to me. I think January so. 14th is Chinese New Year. Red and so, black. That would be appropriate. Yeah. Anyway, um, so Happy New Year, everybody. Um, that's what I wanted to say. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> um, anyway, it's going to be a great year. I can tell already. It's just, it is. It's shaping up to be a really good year. Everything is cool. Um, a lot of stuff going to be going on. Um, mm -hmm. We are actually, um, I, I was uh, um, in contact with, um, with some people from PFLAG today, well actually uh, Barbara from PFLAG. And um, they are, uh, they are uh, hooking up with uh, um, an organization called Hands Against Hate. Mm -hmm. um, and they're doing uh, this living library thing and we've sort of been recruited to be part of that. So, living books. Yeah, it's kind of an interesting thing. Um, I could talk to you about that. Obviously, <laughs> I haven't had a chance to talk to you. This is all sort of coming together today. Okay. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a, it's an interesting thing where it, this is going to be at the Williams School, and uh, I think it's April twenty fourth, if I'm not mistaken. Sounds right. But um, ten ten o'clock till four, and and basically a bunch of people they've they've asked a bunch of people that um, that may have been uh, marginalized or discriminated against in some way to come and sort of be books and be people books. can come and check you out for a half an hour and talk to you. Mm. So you sort of get, you become this living book thing and people check you out and... The, the, apparently the whole living library thing has been uh, going on for a while now for various different causes, various different reasons. There's just yeah. a lot of information out there. And <clears throat> the, the Hands Against Hate group along with PFLAG have gotten together to bring the living library to their cause. So yeah. That sounds really it's, interesting. Yeah, I thought that was an interesting thing. You know, you never know who you might get to meet. Um, I just want to, I want to go and see who will check me out. <laughs> Can I wear the I red bet, dress? Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> It'll but, be um, April. Yeah. Uh, anyway, it's, it sounded like a really interesting thing. Um, yeah. So it's sort of a one-on-one. -on -one, um, yeah. Meet with and talk with people one-on-one yeah. -on -one for short periods of time. How cool was that? So, so we're going to do that. And, um, and, um, in fact, um, Barbara said that either she or somebody from her organization <laughs> will be coming on our show. So we've been wanting to do that for a while. We've been wanting to get somebody from yes. PFLAG on. Um, and maybe we can get somebody from Hands Against Hate, too. So, maybe. So this is cool. Um, and PFLAG, for anyone who's 
new to our show or isn't familiar with it is the uh, um, Parents, Family, Friends of Lesbians and Gays, PFLAG's uh, support group for uh, the parents, friends, and family of LGBT folks. Yeah. And they have a chapter here in Southeast Connecticut. Yeah. That, cool. Ironically, it's a very good time. Um, has a meeting coming up. Oh. Uh, meetings are the second Monday of every month at the Noank Baptist Church, 18 Cathedral Heights in Noank. The next PFLAG meeting is on January 11th. It will be a regular meeting of support and sharing. Potluck at 6 o'clock with the meeting starting at 7. Members of South, uh, Southeastern Connecticut's GSA clubs, Gay Straight Alliances at the local schools, are encouraged to join us. Children are always welcome. Um, there's information you can email uh, or call Kate or Sandy at the Alliance for Living for more information. Or you can go to pflag-secc.org, I believe is the site. Cool. Yeah. So that's their calendar plug. Yeah, good. Anyway, so that's all coming together very well. Um, <coughs> also, um, I just want to mention that, um, that uh, before I forget, because I will forget, because I do that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, next week, we're ha we have, for a guest next week, um, we have uh, Robin McCallan from... Um, oh, is she coming? She's coming. She's the um, executive director, if I'm not mistaken, of uh, yep. True Colors. True awesome. Colors. And she will be on, so... Um, Wonderful. I tried for a year. You called her and she said yes. No, actually, you know, I've been, that's, that's actually not true. <coughs> I can't take credit for that. I wish I could. I've been, I've been trying for a year to get her to come on, too. It was Renee. It was Renee. Renee Thank called you, Renee. me this afternoon and told me that she had talked to, um, to uh, Renee is, I think, volunteering for the True Colors, True Colors, True Colors, Colors year, uh, yeah. conference. And Renee had talked to her and, and convinced her to come on the show. So thank you, Renee. <laughs> um, and I believe Renee is going to come on the show too as well. You can call us if you like, Renee. Anyway, thank you for, for getting convincing Robin to come on the show. That was really nice. Um, and anybody else you want to talk into coming on the show, <laughs> um, by all means. <clears throat> but, uh, but that was good. So True Colors is, um, is a very good organization. We've yep. had uh, some of their people on before. Yep. But, um, uh, sexual, um, sexual Minority Youth Organization. Um, here in Connecticut provides support for um, children and, and teens who, who don't necessarily have a, a support system at home. Um, they, they offer mentoring programs and assistance programs for, yeah. uh, for kids. Yeah, very nice. And they have a, a big conference coming up. Big conference they're, coming up, I home. think, the first week in March mm -hmm. um, up at stores. Yeah. True Colors Conference every year is a, is a huge deal. Yeah. Huge deal. Yeah. Life-changing event. Yeah, and, and I would like to make it uh, this year if I can, but, but it's, it, it's a tough one uh, scheduling. But, um, but this year maybe Saturday, I can make yeah. it. Friday and Saturday, yeah. I'll have to check the calendar. Yeah, so hopefully I can make it to this one. Um, but anyway, so that's next week. Robin's going to be on. and um, We'll get her to talk about it more. Yes, so we, we can... Um, we can grill her. Well, we'll, we'll have to get her to, to run through her litany of, of, yes. of, of uh, non-pigeonholing um, terms. Yeah. She, yeah, she does a very interesting, she did this at the Hartford Pride. Yeah, yeah. Um, yep. Very interesting, going through all the letters of the alphabet soup, as, uh, as father likes to call <laughs> And um, Everybody likes to define themselves. They don't like to feel pigeonholed or boxed in. So there's a lot of terms that have sprung up for gender and sexual minorities, and um, she knows most all of them. Yes. <laughs> and always ha and always ends with you know non-conforming. Mm -hmm. If you don't fit anything else, self-identifying non-conforming individuals. Sure. Anyways, it's very amusing the things she does with the all the letters. Um, but yeah, maybe we can get her to to help us with that. <laughs> Anyway, um, what else is going on in the world? Anything? A lot of things, actually. Really? I, um, see, see, I, 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 <laughs> I have to get ink for my printer. I couldn't print anything, so, <laughs> so I, 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 couldn't, um, I couldn't bring anything with me. So oh, this is Renee calling. I'm betting. Yeah. So I anyway, have an internet connection. This and you have an internet connection tonight. Oh, cool.